my plan was to shoot some video over my lunch break. I did get a couple little clips in this morning as the light was still starting to try and come up through the clouds, but today's weather here has been absolutely bonkers. It'll be snowing one minute, it'll be raining the next, it'll be bright sunny blue skies two seconds after that. I pulled up in a spot I wanted to go uh, set up outside and sit rather than just be in my vehicle here. And I pulled up, it started snowing, and the time it took me to set up my camera here, we're fine. We've got blue skies coming back. It's very windy out today. And, you know, storms are on the way through. I shouldn't say storms, but weather is on its way passing through here. It's pretty chilly outside, but that's all right. I'm not afraid of the cold, so we'll see what happens. So I got outside. The sun had come out again, as you can see. Sun is up here, storm clouds there, blue sky right there. It's ridiculous. That's Minnesota in the fall. Um, to follow up on yesterday's talk about all of the uh, fall color tips and things like that, I hate to tell you, and even though there are some colors and some leaves still up on the trees, with the winds and cold temperatures from overnight to today, along with the snow, rain, sleet mix, whatever's happening, you may have missed your chance to get out and shoot many of the fall colors in their full glory. Now that doesn't mean you should put your camera away and quit for the year because there's still some beautiful scenery and you're still going to get leaves hanging around and still have things like right back here where you've got the, the trees that are still bearing some of the, the fall fruits and things like that. But get outside and enjoy it while you can because it won't be long and it'll be 40 below outside and five feet of snow all over everything so you may have missed the fall colors but you still have time to get out and enjoy the weather so as you can see I didn't get a ton of video work done today enough to put a little bit together I had to run this evening over to the Virginia Mall which is what you're seeing right now to go to Radio Shack and look for a little adapter piece to hook a microphone up to my camera, which in the end didn't work. Oh well, what are you gonna do? So I decided I'd fill in just a couple of my favorite images I've shot recently. Now I don't know how the quality of these are because I can't quite seem to figure out what size I need to resize these as for the video. So I apologize if the quality of these images isn't the best, but I do have them getting set to go up on a blog as well. This one was taken um, in the same place you saw me hiking yesterday, but only a few weeks ago you can tell how the colors have changed already. Just a little bend in a trail with some nice sunlight coming through there. And you can see some of the leaves on the ground. Now that whole area was just covered in leaves actually. Um, one of my favorite things to do when I'm out in the woods, especially as you can see up on top of the frame where there's some bright light coming through and kind of the opposite of what I showed you guys yesterday is to use that light almost like a little spotlight. And I've talked about that in one of my previous videos before I went ahead and hit the reset button on this whole project, but I'll use those little spotlights to just really bring attention to and focus on small details especially down low and through the trees and things you're going to find under your feet that you may not ever actually look at so this of course just a small mushroom hidden under some branches there just a good reminder to always keep your eyes open while you're looking coming up next this is a fence line which you saw a couple videos back i shot some footage of Honestly, I wasn't pleased with the footage I got out of that camera, the, the Nikon D3300 I was using. But the picture here came out really good. I've added a little bit of some color treatment to it because it was a little bit pale through that scene. But uh, ended up being a, a really fun image that, honestly, I'm looking at possibly putting up on the wall here at home. I've got a couple other prints I want to get made to decorate my office here at home as well as my office at work so it's always so tough though because it's kind of like choosing your favorite child you want to get just your best prints or your favorite prints and put them up but how do you pick your favorite this shot though might be up on my list um, 
the other morning after I dropped the kids off when I shot the video and, and had you guys looking at some of that amazing sunlight. This is one of the images I grabbed that morning and honest to Pete, I knew when I shot this, the light was perfect, the colors, the greens matching the, the golds and oranges in the sky. There's just everything about this so much that I love. It's just the epitome of a brilliant fall morning crisp cool air you can feel it but that golden sun bringing a little warmth to the scene as well so i hope you like these pictures again i apologize for the quality but i'll get the hang of it all right guys there you have it it was a pretty short video today but i kind of like how it flowed this is probably more what will happen during the weekdays when i've got to work all day and then take care of other stuff through the evening until I can get going. I just don't have as much time to get out, but I do like the idea of sharing just a couple of my recent photos with you here and there and being able to talk a little bit about kind of the story behind it, the when, the where, the why, whatever you want to call it. Um, so it's something to look for and um, hopefully something you guys enjoy seeing as well. Think of it almost like a little sneak peek before it gets up on the blog because unfortunately I have to admit I am very very bad about getting things edited and uploaded to my blogs and websites as quickly as I should. So um, one quick thought I don't want to make it sound like I'm pushing anybody to buy anything or sound like an advertisement or like I'm shilling a product but if you do ever see anything uh, on my website, on my blogs, Instagram, in these videos, anything like that, and you, you see something you're interested in getting a print for, let me know. Um, I definitely can, can hook you up there as far as um, selling you guys some prints, but I'm also very interested and enjoy the idea and concept um, of doing the occasional print swap which is kind of fun because as much as I said in the other video, I love to have my own work hanging on my walls. It's really hard to choose what I want to see of my own hanging on my walls because we're all so critical of our own work that three days after we do it, we're ready to look at something else and you know, we think whatever we shot last week just stinks, you know, and so we're always so hard on ourselves. It's hard to pick a, a specific print or set of prints to make of your own work so by doing a print swap it's interesting to see what other people choose and, and decide they want to have up on their walls while at the same time you get a chance to enjoy and have um, some prints from other photographers out there and it's always amazing to be able to surround yourself with other people's work that inspires you or that you enjoy I apologize, my furnace just kicked in, so hopefully it's not too noisy in here. I'm not going to talk too much longer anyways. Um, I wanted to just give one quick book recommendation of my own, um, not just for you photography fans out there, um, although it is pretty cool for that as well, but also a neat story and, and a neat look at a small, small town. Um, the book is called... Uh, if you can read it here, I'm not sure if it'll show up. It's called The Oxford Project. Um, it's photographs by a gentleman named Peter Feldstein or Stein. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. My apologies if I got that wrong. Um, and the text is by Mr. Stephen Bloom. And basically what this is, uh, back in, it says 1984, the photographer went to this small town of Oxford, Iowa. There's, uh, at that time, 676 residents in that town. He photographed 670 of them. So basically, he took pictures and portraits of the entire town, minus six people. Um, he came back 20 years later, um, along with this writer, uh, Mr. Bloom, and decided to do it again. He, he photographed or shot everybody in that town to the best of his capabilities while capturing their stories, what these people have been up to. This is a good example. I just flipped open to a page. Um, he photographed this girl back in 19, 1984, now takes her picture here. And you can see it's you know low quality or you know far away. But, um, and then it just talks a little bit about her. In a lot of ways, this book reminds me of um, 
the, the Humans of New York website and uh, book, which I also have and I love, but it's kind of like the Humans of New York, only on a super, super small scale with an extremely small town. Um, and talk about an undertaking to say, hey, this town has just under 700 people. I want to take pictures of every single one of them. And then to go back 20 years later and do it again, I mean, it's really a fun look. It's cool to see how people have changed, uh, what they've been up to. I've, I've read and reread this a few times. I got it as a, a Christmas gift from my good friend Than uh, a few years back. And um, it's one of the gifts that keeps on giving. I like to dust it off and pull it off the shelf, you know, at least once or twice a year here and flip through it and, and just enjoy the stories. I, I don't necessarily now read it cover to cover anymore. I might flip through and read one or two people's stories or things like that, but I do recommend it if you're a fan of photography, a fan of um, kind of that Humans of New York style of look. It's not quite the same, but um, kind of similar. And this guy's a, a documentary um, photographer. It's won a ton of awards, so not that I'm paid by them, nothing else. I just wanted to recommend it to you because it's something I enjoy. Um, I'm going to let you guys go. I've got just a little bit of work left to do, not just on the video, but a couple other things I'm looking into and working on getting ready uh, for the wedding this weekend and all of that. So thanks again for coming along on my day. You guys all take care. And um, from here in northern Minnesota, I'm Dave Swiduck and wishing you a great rest of your evening or if you're watching this tomorrow when it will be, a great day. You guys have a good one. Take care. Number two, if you're going out to shoot fall colors, you better get out fast because most of the color is gone. Um, some really cool scenes in town on the streets where the leaves are just littering everywhere, all over the place, laying low, and you're seeing the bare trees up above. Some really quiet, peaceful, serene looking scenes.